Hello, I'm Dr. Max Gomez. If you've been listening to the news, you've probably heard an awful lot about stem cells, the ethical and moral issues surrounding them, as well as their future potential for curing disease. But did you know that stem cells are actually being used right now to treat some of today's leading killers without any of the moral and ethical controversy? They're adult stem cells. In the next few minutes, I'll explain how it all works and how you can protect your health today with stem cells. First, though, listen to these remarkable stories from people who say they're alive thanks to stem cells. They hooked up an EKG, and I died. I had a cardiac arrest. Ten hours and six bypasses later, Bernie's heart refused to restart. In about 20 minutes, a doctor came out and said, his heart started. Then there's Michael Carlock. The former football player was also diabetic and had suffered numerous silent heart attacks that had so damaged his heart, a transplant became his only option. And I just said, uh, you know, I just don't want to die right now. I have too much, to, I have kids, I have a wife. I can't, you know, I can't die now. I'm too young. Not only did both Michael and Bernie survive, they're both thriving. Michael is even back in the gym these days. How did all this happen? Well, they both say it's because they got injections of their own adult stem cells. But to really understand how this remarkable recovery took place, we need a short lesson in stem cells, especially to explain the difference between adult and embryonic stem cells. Stem cells are what scientists call certain cells that can transform into any type of cell or tissue in the body. The most versatile of this primitive type of cell is an embryonic stem cell which can morph into anything from blood and bone to muscle, skin, even brain cells. Trouble is, the source of these stem cells is human embryos, which is why they have become so controversial. But Michael Carlot and Bernard Van Zyl were treated with adult stem cells that came from their own bodies. Here's how it works. Turns out everyone's bone marrow contains stem cells, adult stem cells. But how to get them out in large enough numbers to be useful? Both Mike and Bernie received injections of a natural hormone that stimulated their bone marrow to make and release millions of adult stem cells into their blood circulation. Then a special machine extracts and concentrates these adult stem cells. The beauty of this approach is that these are what doctors call autologous, meaning it's their own cells with no chance for rejection and so no need for powerful anti-rejection drugs. In Michael and Bernie's case, their adult stem cells were injected directly into their heart muscle, where it appears they grew and helped repair the damage caused by previous heart attacks, damage that even bypasses couldn't help. Just look at the difference of where they shot the stem cells. That part of the heart, which was like dead, is now alive. Even more exciting is that it's not just heart disease where adult stem cells have shown to be a beneficial therapy. There are currently hundreds of clinical trials underway using adult stem cells to treat a wide range of diseases, from diabetes to lupus, to Alzheimer's, stroke, osteoarthritis, and even some types of cancer. Recent scientific publications have documented successful treatment in congestive heart failure and in reversing the need for insulin in type 1 diabetes, two of the nation's major killers. It's no different than why you have health insurance or life insurance. It's to protect your health and your family. By collecting and storing your stem cells today, you will have them for the future. They're your cells for your use. Think of it as a different kind of insurance, a bioinsurance. Not only will these cells be able to be used for what we now consider inevitable processes of aging that we treat with medicines, but we will be treating them with our own cells if we take the opportunity to store them now. Dr. Vincent Giampapa is the medical director of the Giampapa Institute in Montclair, New Jersey, and the co-founder of the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine. He believes in the potential of adult stem cells so strongly that he's collected and banked his own stem cells with NeoStem, as well as opened a center for stem cell collection. Dr. Giampapa believes that the sooner you bank your stem cells, the healthier and more useful they'll be for the many things that stem cells will be able to do in the near future from facial rejuvenation to treating diseases from arthritis and cancer to heart disease and diabetes. The secret here is to, is to try to harvest and keep your cells in storage 
freeze a part of yourself in time so that you can take advantage of these new technologies and research as it develops. So that's why I think it's, uh, it, to me, it's one of the most exciting things we could be doing, not just for the cosmetic purposes, which I think will be, without a question, innumerable, but more importantly, quality of life issues as we age, wellness as we age. Years of quality life is what both Michael Carlotte and Bernard Van Zyl feel they got from their stem cell treatment. You know, going from having, uh, walking eight steps to going, let's say, a mile and a half on a treadmill, you feel like Superman. And uh, I didn't think I'd be able to feel that way. And now I have remarkable stamina. I uh, can keep up with my contemporaries in almost anything. Hundreds of thousands of people have already banked stem cells from their children's umbilical cord blood. This is an opportunity for everyone to bank stem cells, an insurance policy that could just pay off in protection against disease or perhaps in rejuvenation as research reveals the potential locked inside our very own cells. For more information on how you can take advantage of the NeoStem process, log on to the GMPapaInstitute.com or call an enrollment specialist at 973-746-3535. For Dr. Giampapa and Neostem, I'm Dr. Max Gomez.